Okay. Putting some of this lovely marmalade balsamic garlic mix all over this. Ignore that, that is not evidence that we are drinking Caesars, which if you're Canadian, you'll know all about. If you're not Canadian, don't worry about it. It's a Bloody Mary on steroids. <laughs> it's beautiful, man, it's beautiful, look at that, oh. Stay tuned. Okay, so you've got to excuse the feet, but I need them to stand up. But here we go. I wanted to show you what it looks like at the start of a rotisserie. So I've basted it. I've got the potatoes underneath. I've seasoned those. I've used a salt and pepper mix. Two parts pepper to one part salt. Grape oil on a tip from my main man, Aaron Franklin, who has the best barbecue restaurant in the United States. Fact. Let's see how these bad boys turn out. Okay, so we're probably about 10 minutes into the cook. Let's see what's happening. We're at 200. These little ducky wookies. Yeah, they're looking good. I'll tell you what we should do. We should have done it earlier, to be fair, but I forgot. I had them here prepped. But let's do it anyway. Let's super smoke it. So with the smoking, you're always best doing it, and the meat is not cooked. Yeah, but hey. Missed it by 10 minutes, but let's do it anyway. There's gonna be some element of smoke going in. So let's do it. This is what a swirling vortex of smoking awesomeness should look like. Look at that. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay, we've got a mid-cook going on. Let's have a look. A lot of smoke coming off. Don't want to keep this off, the lid off too long. Look at that. That, that that's magical. <laughs> you can't wait, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Put that lid back on. Maintain the smoke. Maintain the flavour. Hoorah. Okay, let's see what we got. Rouge and Noir. Beautiful. But let's take these guys off, get them carved, see what we got. It's looking good. Nom, 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 nom. So, the final product. Now, this is a really good example of how barbecue can go, I won't want to say wrong, but can go differently. So, owing to some. Um, Bloody Mary interference, the um, the duck didn't get eaten the other night, so put them in the fridge, wrapped them, you can see that they're still absolutely succulent, you can see it all glistening there. So what I did was, I kept the sauce, now some people will use it as, um, with, a, with a brush, and pop some on personally, and um, I like to use it as a dipping sauce. So let's open these up and see what we've got. Try a bit of that. Warm this up. This is cold. Can you come to say hello, Caitlin? Do you want some duck? <laughs> that is fantastic. 
It's a little bit on the drier side because it has been in the fridge. If you can see, there's a slight darker ring just around there. That's how the, hold it up to the camera. That is, that's the smoke ring. So that's how far the, the smoke's penetrated in. So a little bit dry because it has been in the fridge um, for two days now. Probably could have done better putting it in cling film rather than um, tin foil, but this is some tasty wild duck. Okay, so I did a much better job on getting the flesh off the, uh, the second duck. I thrashed at that first one a bit, unfortunately. But here you can see. Yeah, all intact. Beautiful. This, I've had some along the way, and this is gonna go exceptional in a uh, in a salad. So that's what I'm gonna look forward to now. But you don't need to see me throw a few lettuce leaves together, do you? Ciao.